The Pooler Fire Department says it is the only department in Southeast Georgia with new technology that can really help make a difference between life and death. Last month, a Pooler man died two days after suffering burns to more than 80% of his body. This happened during a house fire. The Pooler Fire Department says the new technology used for the first time with that victim extended his life. Cyanide is a poisonous chemical found in smoke and it interferes with the body's ability to use oxygen. When used, this cyano kit flushes out the cyanide and the department says that it can double a victim's survival rate. Before we had this medication, we, we didn't have it. So the individuals were just applying high flow O2 and hopefully you know that this was enough before we could get an ambulance here. The Pooler Fire Department says it only has one of those kits because each one costs over $1,700. But that is not the only life-saving technology that the Pooler Fire Department is investing in. We're joined now by WJCL 22 News' is Tia Maggio. And she's live inside the Pooler Fire Department. And Tia, what do you have for us? What are you going to show? Well, Greg, I'm going to show you my new friend, Trauma Terry. Isn't he adorable? He can sweat, breathe, and bleed just like a regular human. This $40,000 dummy helps Pooler Fire prepare for any scenario as lifelike as possible. I can make him talk. Uh, look up, breathe. I can uh, change out his wounds. Uh, right here, you see he's got an evisceration. He's got a fracture in his arm. He's got a fracture in his leg. Pooler Fire EMS Captain Corey Monroe says its newest recruit is making leaps and bounds in medical training. Monroe says with an app that connects Terry to his phone, he can role play a random scenario that a firefighter will have to do without any previous knowledge. I'm going to die. We do respiratory uh, trauma. We do burns. Like I have a uh, simulation for burns. Um, we have all kind of uh, attachments and skins that I can add to him that we can do simulations on. A first time ever for a fire department in southeast Georgia to use this equipment. We're the only department that I know of that actually has this dummy. The dummy has multiple human-like qualities so firefighters can perform multiple simulations without having to do so on each other. But actually you can see his airway, his anatomical airway. So if I were to intubate him for a respiratory emergency like you heard a while ago, if he's actually having some difficulty breathing, uh, you would use some medications if need be. The dummy even bleeds after being injected. I'm going to pull this out. Other than the blood, can you see where his needle was? That's it. This dummy costs around $40,000. We're actually able to get a discount on him, so we got him for a little less than for half that. And while it's no question that's still a lot of money, Monroe says there's no cost on the lives in Pooler. There is nothing that we won't do for our citizens here in Pooler. Now, I mean, we got to give it up again for my friend Trauma Terry. Now, Moran's, Monroe says the next steps for the department is to add a new designated training facility equipped with new technology like this. Reporting live in Pooler, I'm Tia Maggio with WJCL 22 News. Tia, amazing technology. Thanks so very much for that report.